morning everyone. I am hot. <laughs> Is the first word I'm thinking of. Um, I need to probably change out this sweater, but I've just taken Maple out on a walk, um, which was going really well until there was somebody walking in front of us with like one of those little like trolleys and she completely freaked out, somehow managed to unclip her harness. Luckily we were right outside our house, so she just ran straight into the house, straight to the gate. But that's never happened before, so... Oh, it's happened once actually. That's a lot, it's happened once when we were in the field and she was trying to get away from another dog and she managed to get out of her harness, but that's never happened when I've been walking her. So that wasn't great, a little bit stressful, but at least, thank God, we were right by the house and um, she managed to just go straight in because if we weren't, God knows where she would have gone. Um, but she's just got this thing about like prams, trolleys, scooters, anything like with wheels, she doesn't like. People on their own, not a problem. She can walk past anyone if they're just stood there on their own. If they've got like a, a pram or something, or like this person had a trolley, she just completely, so I'm just trying to look in the mirror, while I put this on my face. She just completely freaks out. So yeah, that's been my morning so far. I am having quite a relaxed day today. Just popping on a little bit of tinted moisturizer. This is more moisturizer than tint, um, which is why I put so much of it on. I think what I'm gonna do today, I was waiting for a Zara order to film a Zara reel and YouTube video for you guys, but I'm not sure what time it's gonna arrive. So I may just save that and do that tomorrow. Just gonna put a little bit of concealer on as well because my eye bags are looking quite severe. Um, yeah, I might wait till tomorrow to do that just because I don't wanna get like fully ready to film and then it doesn't arrive in time because then that'll just be a waste. So um, I think I might save that for tomorrow anyway. I am going on holiday on Friday. It's now Tuesday and I thought I would film like a little vlog in the few days leading up to my holiday to got, like take you guys through my holiday prep. It's not that exciting. I won't lie to you, I'm not like going to get my hair done and lash extensions and brows and nails and toes and everything. But I'm having a few little bits so I thought it would be quite nice to film a vlog over the next few days. I filmed a pack with me yesterday so I am almost fully packed. I just need to pack like some last minute toiletries like my toothbrush and toothpaste, my hair stuff and my makeup. And I'm hoping that all of that kind of stuff will fit in Tom's case because I don't think it's going to fit in mine unfortunately. So the plan today is in terms of holiday prep, I'm in the process of scrubbing off my tan i probably will have a proper like exfoliating shower again thursday thursday morning i think because of some stuff i'm having done later in the day i don't think i'll be able to shower after so thursday morning i'll scrub off sort of the last remaining bits but i love the tan that i use the tan lux hydro mousse because it comes off so easily it doesn't come off patchy or anything it just literally comes off in complete layers so i think i've probably still got a bit left on so I will be scrubbing that off on Thursday morning. Today I am going to blow dry my hair. Obviously I've just had a shower. So I've still got wet hair. Dried a little bit on the walk but not fully. So I am going to blow dry it in a second. And then I'm going to try and curl it with my new Babyliss styler this one the straighteners i got this recently and i've not used it yet and i've never really been able to master curling my hair with straighteners so i want to try and practice and give it a go because if i can do it okay i'll take them with me on holiday and serve my air app i do love my air app but it doesn't tend to work that well like in hotels and especially in foreign countries it really like tends to cut out quite a lot so I don't know if I want to take it with the risk of it not really working, but if I can't master the straightener curl, then I definitely will take my air wrap and we'll just have to hope that it works. If not, it'll be a um, slick back bun holiday. So I'm going to obviously do that to my hair now. I have on still some nail polish. One of them is a little bit chipped actually at the top, but I did this 
myself. As you guys know, I normally do my own nails with my manicurist set, which I adore. I've been using it for how many months now? Like four months, I think. And I always do my nails at home. I did my nails at home before I used that set. I used just some normal like Amazon stuff and it worked fine for me. The manicurist set I love. I just want something that's going to be a bit more durable for my holiday. So I am going to the salon to get my nails done. I'm thinking of going French tip. I'll show you the picks that I saved this morning. I'm thinking either going for square or round. I can't decide but I'm thinking just a classic French um, just so they're a little bit more durable like with the chlorine and sand and stuff like that so I just want something a bit more hard wearing. Also my nails are not short but they're not super long at the moment as well so I'm going to probably have like some extensions on them and then the builder gel because that's what I used to have probably about a year or so ago now and especially before Covid I would go and get my nails done without fail every three weeks. So I just thought I wanted to save a bit more money so I started doing them at home myself but for a situation like holiday I do like to treat myself. I'm just getting my fingernails done though so today I will remove the polish off of these so they're nice and prepped for Thursday which is when I'm getting them done in the morning. My toes however I'm going to do myself. I'm going to use the manicurist set to do that and I think I might do them this afternoon because I want to do them before I get my nails done so that I don't ruin my nails when I'm doing them. So I might do them this afternoon actually which I will film for you guys and then Thursday after I get my nails done I'm getting some LVL on my lashes so just like a tint and lift on my lashes which I haven't had done since I went to Ibiza in 2018 maybe even 2017 I can't remember when it was yeah that was the last time I had an LVL so I thought I'd treat myself and have a little lash lift for my holiday as well so that's the plan that's the outline for this video and then obviously Thursday I'll pack my last minute things and then we're off which I literally can't wait for I'm so excited so excited to get in the sun and have a swim and it's just going to be so lovely so let me get this mop all blow dried and then we'll have a little go with the straighteners and see if I can do it. I mean I'm not feeling hopeful but I'm probably going to watch a couple of tutorials and see if I can at least get the hang of it because I feel like it's a good skill to have. I don't always love my Dyson so I need another way to be able to curl my hair. bobble on top of my head um but I've blow dried my hair now it's time to give this straightening a go and see if I can do a decent job I don't really know where to start I'm gonna find a little video I think on my phone and hopefully I'll be able to follow it these straighteners are so nice and sleek brand new as well so they should be good so I think let me start at the front here so I can see what I'm doing. So I think I just sort of twist the straightener as I go down. Is this right? Oh, okay, we've got a little bit of a curl there. I just need to get the last bit. Am I doing it the right way though, or do I need to do it the other way? Okay, that well, that's not too bad for a first attempt. Right, let's try again. If I go this way, if I want it backwards, I think so. It's just keeping the hair in between the flat iron that I find difficult. Okay. Wow. Can you see that? Pretty good. I could even probably pin that as well if I wanted to. Yeah, that would pin nicely. Okay. Right. Let's see how far I can get with this then. This is the finished product. I've done all my hair now and I feel like it's not bad for a first attempt. Like anything, I think the more I do it, the better I will get. Um, I started to definitely notice that I was getting quicker the more I went on, but that's taken me like half an hour, a bit longer than that, actually like 35 minutes it's taken me. And it normally only takes me about 20 minutes to just quickly go over my hair with the air wrap. But I'm gonna try this again, I think tomorrow and see what it's like. It definitely doesn't smooth my hair as much as the air wrap does it's still like quite frizzy on the top but maybe a bit of hair oil will fix that who knows but to be honest there's quite a lot of like volume to it considering i did it with the straighteners i didn't think it was going to be this kind of like bouncy so i am quite pleased with that 
So I think these do get the vote for holiday, I think. Um, we'll see how long it lasts though, we'll see how long it lasts throughout the day. Because if it just drops straight out then maybe not, I don't know. So I have relocated down to the lounge, which is where I normally like to do my nails. Sorry, I'm trying to open this um, fibre one bar. I am a bit peckish, but I don't want to make my lunch yet because it's only midday. I normally try and wait a bit later to make my lunch, but I thought I'd just have one of these. Just a little like cake bars, I think they're only like 90 calories, but they're really nice. So I'm not going to actually show you guys how I do my toes because I don't know, I just think it's a bit weird to video my toes. So um, I'll show you guys like the before and after. I think I'm going to do French, which I don't normally do because it takes up quite a lot of time, but I just think French is really nice and I haven't had French on my toes for ages, either that or just white and I feel like white's a little bit boring so I'm gonna go for French and hopefully it looks nice. Also I've been watching Manifest on Netflix which is good but it's not like it makes me want to stop what I'm doing and watch it like it's just something that I have on in the background and I feel like that's enough like I don't really need to focus on it. Um, I know people are obsessed with it but I don't know, I'm finding it a bit hard to like be gripped by it, but it's good. It's just something to have on in the background. By the way, if you want to see how I do my nails with this manicure set, then there is a reel over on my Instagram, which has got like a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how I do my nails. Obviously you're gonna follow the same process on my toes as well, so that applies there. That should be up over on my Instagram if you want to see that. So I've got everything out that I need. First of all, I need to remove my old polish, so I'm gonna put some of this acetone on some cotton wool balls and then I'm going to clip them to my toes. These clips are meant for your fingers but I have small toes so they actually fill my toes as well um, and I have two packs of them so I can take the polish off both feet at the same time. I will actually just show you from a distance how well this polish has lasted. So don't screenshot this but I actually painted my toes in May and that's how well they've lasted. Then I start with base coat. I'm going to use this SOS one because I'm not sure what the condition of my nails is actually like underneath. I'm going to mix this pink called Tentica with this one which is called Sugar Cane. I might do this one first because it's more of like a true pink and then this one's more of like a beigey pink so I'll do probably one coat of each and then a little white tip and a top coat. Also have some cuticle oil as well which I'll pop on. Afterwards, so this is my little setup. I'm going to continue to watch Manifest. Then once I've done my toes, I'll take the polish off my hands as well, which is so super easy. That is one thing I love about Manicurist is I literally pop a bit of this on a cotton ball, clip it in place on my hands or my toes, wherever, leave it for like one minute, sometimes leave it for two just to make absolutely sure. And the polish actually just slides straight off. There's no like drilling, filing, damaging of the nails underneath. It's so easy to do. And that is toes done. I'm quite pleased with that little French, little thin white French tip that I did there. Very easy. I think that only took me like half an hour. So toes are done. They should last me a good few weeks, if not months. And now I'm going to take this polish off my nails. I'll show you how easily this comes off as well. So I've just done one hand to begin with and I thought I would just take off these clips with you guys so you can literally see how easy it is so I just unpicked it you can see polish coming straight off I literally just have to wipe it and it comes straight off fully that one's actually stuck a little bit they don't normally but I mean look at that so easy to get off I've literally probably left this for maybe like two minutes just while I've been scrolling on my phone and i'll just give my hands a little like wash afterwards to get all the other little bits off but literally just comes off straight away so easy so i'm going to do the other hand now so i just got this zara order and oh my god there are so many nice things i can't wait to show you guys um a little sneak peek here but i am going to film a zara haul tomorrow good morning everyone it is thursday today and this time, this time tomorrow, yes, this time tomorrow, we will be in Palma, which is exciting. So this is obviously the last day before I go away. Got quite a few bits to sort out and organise. Just putting on these new sandals that I got delivered yesterday from Aloha's. Aloha's? Really cute, like, dad sandal. Show you a bit closer. 
really nice like quilted ones i've got a pair that i've had for years from sheen and they literally cost me like 13 pounds uh, but they were such a good dupe for the chanel ones i've always kept them but i feel like these may supersede them i don't know if they're going to be comfy though because obviously i've not worn them yet so we should see i've not got too much walking around to do today so should be fine i am about to go and get my nails done it's 20 past nine and my appointment's at 10 o'clock um i need to run some errands i want to pop into boots as well and see if i can find an eye mask for the plane because i had a really nice silk one but i gave it to tom because i don't really sleep with an eye mask but i think it might be good for the plane so i'm gonna pop into boots i think they might have them there and see if i can get one and then i have my lash appointment at 12. i've just got on a comfy outfit i've got these wide leg jeans on sorry this is the worst camera angle i'll show you in the mirror properly in a minute um but yeah comfy wide leg zara jeans and a sweatshirt so i think that's about it so i've got a parcel to post as well on my way so a few errands to run I need to get petrol ready to drive to the airport in the morning i have exfoliated off all my tan and showered and done my hair and stuff this morning obviously i've got no mascara on so makeup looks a little bit weird but all i've got left to pack is makeup hair stuff chargers and like toothbrush and toothpaste so i'm going to get everything out that i need to pack even if i need to still use it in the morning just so it's all in one place so i can just literally scoop it up put it in my bag first thing because i think we've got to leave at about half two so it's going to be a very early start. Anyway, this is a better look at my outfit. This jumper is from Fourth and Reckless and it's just a very comfy sweatshirt. It's not that warm today. And then these jeans are old Zara, but because they're nice and wide, they're really comfy as well. And then the new sandals, which I hope are going to be comfy. And then I'm just going to take my YSL with me as well. I just got caught in so much rain. Obviously I did my hair this morning and there was no point doing that because I'm going to have to do it tonight again before I get to bed. So it's all nice for the morning, but my nails are done. Really nice little round white tip. So I'm really pleased with them. They match my toes that I did myself the other day. I need to send a vintage parcel, but all the lockers were full, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. I've got a bit of time before my lash appointment though. But I also got, and they got a bit wet because I didn't get a bag, but I also got two eye masks. My mum wanted one as well, just to sleep in, but I got this for the plane tomorrow, just in case I wanna have a little nap. I thought an eye mask might be a good idea, so I'm gonna take that with me. And I also got some gum and some tissues because I thought they were fairly essential but I'm gonna go and try and post this vintage parcel now and I'm also going to fill up with petrol as well and then I should be about right to head over to my lash appointment at 12 because it is 10 past 11 now so I might even be a bit early for that as well but off we go and get excited so excuse my very dark under eyes but obviously I had to take my makeup off when I had my LVL but this is the finished product. I'm very pleased with them. We did a black tint instead of a brown, so they're a little bit darker, which is great. Obviously, so happy with my nails as well. I just feel so much better when my nails are a bit longer. When I first went in, they were like, oh no, you don't need tips. Just have Biab on your natural nails. I was like, no, I want them a little bit longer than they are naturally. So I got extensions on them and yeah they look lovely very pleased with them they match my toes now and i'm home i've got a meeting with my manager in about 20 minutes just to discuss some last minute things before i go and then the last minute packing will commence i wanted to try and fit in a last minute pilates session as well before tomorrow but i don't think i'm going to have time unfortunately i wanted to do full body because i felt like I could do a full body today and no, I feel energized. Sometimes I feel like, no, just an arm session or an ab session is enough. But today I feel a bit more energized. So if I can squeeze in like a 45 minute full body, I will. But I don't know, I need to have lunch and stuff first as well. So maybe not. This is the beauty update and I will pick you guys back up when I am packing my last minute things. Yeah. <laughs> 
So apologies for the lighting here, it looks a bit strange. You will have just seen that I did Pilates. I'm pleased that I did it because I could have quite easily just relaxed on the sofa. I probably should have like had a little nap considering how early we've got to get up in the morning, but I didn't think that far ahead. I thought I'd just do one last ditch attempt to get a six pack before tomorrow. Sorry, I've just moved you because I think this is slightly Nicer lighting. Also, it rained earlier, so this is why my hair is all like poofy at the sides. It always goes like upright whenever it's a bit humid or it rains. But yeah, I've done Pilates. I think I caught Maple being her normal Maple self and literally jumping all over me while I was trying to do the ab section. I just couldn't help but laugh though, bless her, she's so funny. So I had to restart it about four times to actually get it done. And then I've just had a quick rinse because I can't shower 24 hours um, after my LVL. So I did shower this morning, as you would have seen, but obviously I just did a workout, so I wasn't feeling too fresh after that. So I thought I've got to like rinse. So I just literally like got in the bath and just rinsed myself. Now, as you can tell, I am going to air wrap my hair again, just to give it a little bit of bounce before the morning. I know I'm traveling, so it really doesn't matter what I look like at 6 a.m., but I know I'll just feel better if I do it now because it normally lasts fairly well um, while I sleep. Also got a really nice cold glass of water here. I definitely haven't drunk enough water today and I feel really thirsty, so I just got the biggest glass I could find and filled it full of ice water. Anyway, once I've done my hair, and my skincare, which I'm gonna do after I've done my hair. I can pack those last few bits and all that's left for me to pack, I'll put downstairs is my phone charger and my toothbrush and my toothpaste. And obviously can't do either of those things until the morning. And then that's it, everything is done. So that's good, I'm feeling nice and organized. I can't take myself seriously with my hair like this, it's so funny, right. Let's get on and give myself a few curly whirlies. So hair is done. This should stay in quite nicely for the morning. I've also just done my skincare. I'd already packed most of my skincare, so it's just one thing that I was still using um, that I need to pop in the case now. It was just these little wristbands that I just use now, um, but I can't go anywhere without these. I absolutely love them. They are so handy. Stop all the water dripping down your wrist when you wash your face. Got all my hair products in here. You may have guessed, but I am taking my air wrap because the straighteners just didn't do it for me. And then I have some daily makeup that I will have in my hand luggage, I think, with me because I might want to put some on. I won't want to put any on in the morning, I don't think. But I might just want like a little bit of concealer or something once we get off the plane. So I've got a little bit of like my day-to-day -day makeup in here, bronzer and concealer and a lip balm and stuff, just in case. So it's just these bits and my phone charger and my toothbrush left to put in the case. So Tom is arriving shortly and that stuff will be going in his case because I have zero room left. But yeah, that's everything. I'm going to have some dinner now already in my pajamas. These are just from Amazon by the way and they are so soft and comfy. I'll leave them linked down below. By the time you watch this video, I will probably already be back from my holiday. So I hope I had a good time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.